Enzo Lopes, the latest rider to jump ship and head over to World Supercross. Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in, I got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage um, today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as I blow the lid off the moto industry. Why you ask? Well, of course I'm going to tell you, nobody else will. Snowflakes and Karens. If you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Never been a more important time in history to get centered and surrounded with like-minded Moto people, we're iron will sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen a little moto iron today, my friends. Welcome to the show who's ready to do a little whistle blowing. You've come to the right place. So the latest rider now is Enzo Lopes. Enzo Lopes is kind of a cool story. Love Club MX, bummed for Jerry, Jeremy Martin. Such a bummer for Jeremy Martin, right? We should almost just done a video for that guy. But huge shout out to Jeremy Martin, another guy who's made huge sacrifices, comes from a moto family, just can't catch a break. This might be it for our friend Jeremy Martin. My gosh. But Enzo Lopes kind of emerged as this feel-good story. And, of course, the industry latched onto him and did some lifestyle things around him and made some television packages to try to make it a colorful world. And now that I think about it, do you think that – leave it in the comments below. Do you think the industry latched on to Enzo? For one, he, he, commanded, he commanded the attention. He went out there and, and delivered some finishes. But for two, because he's from Brazil, he we've got now this international flavor. We've got the Lawrence brothers from Australia. We they're trying to they're trying to divert attention away from World Supercross, which is going to be a very international gate, to show we've got an international vibe over here too. I do think that's probably why Enzo Lopes grabbed a little extra headlines. I do. I absolutely do not hear myself say it. But this is what's this is what's rad, unless you're the organization or the industry itself. This is another warning sign for you. Enzo Lopes is now announced. He's gonna scoop up his. I think it's the Club 450 actually, and because it's probably more money. <laughs> he's not an idiot, Enzo. And then <laughs> I love Enzo because he's so chill, dude. He's just like so chill. He's like, "What's up?" Yeah, you know, like, uh, yeah, filthy feels. Like, I don't know about that, dude. I guess he's my brother. -in -law. I, eat, I just kind of respect Enzo because he's a very kind of like stoic dude. He's not all my, today's sponsor and this and that and the other. No, he's really just kind of chill. Like you can tell like when you've seen any of his interactions uh, in the pits, it's always been like he just kind of like, I don't know. He he I think he's, he probably watches the snow. Uh, Enzo, welcome to the show. We're glad you're a supporter of the show because it seems like you don't really trust a lot of the people that are tripping over themselves to come talk to you and hey Enzo, we want to do a television. He's like, okay, whatever. How much does it pay? Smart guy, smart guy. And he comes from a basically a third world country. So he's just here for a payday. But he's the latest guy now to announce. And why he's not out there. Why isn't he out there in the outdoors this year? Another another rug pull for the industry is one of your darlings that you promoted during the indoors. Gave you the finger for the outdoors, and they're jumping over to World Supercross. They've been, he's announced, I believe I saw it, he's going to World Supercross on the club bike. It's rad. This is what we need right now. You see, here's where I believe the industry made a catastrophic failure. I was talking about Walty's, Walty's always back in the day, back in the day. This isn't necessarily about back in the day. This is about being a moto guy and a businessman. This is where the industry made a catastrophic mistake. They're trying to keep riders from doing off-season races. They're trying to create a, monopo a monopoly, it would appear. In fact, it all started last year when World Super... We've always had King of Percy and the Australian Supercross. We've always had off-season races, and we used to encourage the teams wanted you to go over there and get gate drops before A1. That was what we wanted to do. Not anymore. Don't go. Why you ask? Well, of course I'm going to tell you. Or how do I know that? We all know it. We saw it last year with Ken Roxon. All of a sudden, he was. He had no. He. They say that he quit, but I think he was basically fired. The truth is usually somewhere in the middle. He committed to do World Supercross while he was already with Factory HRC Honda. Of course, he got agents and, and people on both sides of the camp. They're in communication. You don't just sign for World Supercross without checking with the team. At one point, they're like, yeah, Kenny, for sure. Off-season races, get some gate drops for A1. We're just stoked to have you back. Then Jetson comes along, and everything changes. Well, Ken, you know, um, 
you know, the brass, the higher ups, the Wall Street guys up in the conference room, they said that you can't do World Supercross. And uh, so if you do it, um, you know, we're going to have to let you go. It'll terminate your contract. The, 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 uh, your contract will be in violation and we'll have to terminate it. We, and they're hoping that's what Kenny will do. Why? Because it's easier for them than some messy breakup as they clearly already had Jets and Donut marketing campaign in the works. And Kenny went from being the man at Honda. He was Jetson for Honda. And then he wasn't. So the writing is clearly on the wall. So for me, what do you guys think? Tell me somebody help me make sense of this. Is anything I said on point today? I believe so. I believe Enzo Lopes is absolutely 100%. I don't know if this is necessarily a boycott. This is just business now. But this is catastrophic for for the for the industry here trying to keep trying to get riders to the playoff rounds. Can you imagine what's going to happen if these playoff rounds like the only way they're going to get the big stars to show up is to pay them big and there's a bunch of purse money there but right now some of these riders are basically starting to look like they're going to boycott this and here's my forward thinking prediction friends so the organization wanted to do super motocross will be supercross it'll be motocross we'll combine the finishes and then we'll do the playoff rounds and we'll make it like a football game like playoffs it'll be it's great. not going to be great because here's what's happening most of the riders didn't come do the outdoors. So now in order for you to get the big stars, because we thought, oh, we would just put the highest finishing factory guys. Basically, the playoffs would just be the factory guys with a couple standout privateers. That's what playoffs were designed to do. Factory guys only. We're going to pay the factory guys and incentivize them so they don't go over and do this world and Percy and Australian Supercrosses. No, we can't have that anymore. It backfired backfired in a big way they're going to get to these playoff rounds with all the money they thought would be all going to the factory guys they probably even promised the factory teams hey listen we're going to handsomely pay your riders and we're going to keep them interested so they're going to be happier at the truck and blah, blah, blah. it didn't work it's going to be weird because i think what they're going to do you're going to get the factory guys come to race these playoffs because purely for the money grab only the money grab. And some guys are just going to line it up for a, like an off-season style gate drop. Nobody's interested in trying to be the king of the Super Bowl trophy. It's already Jetsons. He's already got a spot on his in his trophy case empty waiting for the Super Moto Duper Cross Super Bowl championship trophy. It's already his. It would appear unless something catastrophic happens or maybe he, the industry pisses him off. And he decides to pull an Enzo, Lope and say, Enzo Lopes and say he's not coming to do this thing either. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win on the track, off the track, understanding the waters we're swimming in now. Shark infested Enzo Lopes pulled the plug on the industry, says I'm doing World Supercross, not doing the outdoors. You guys can have it. And I don't even know if he will show up for the playoff rounds. I'm sure somebody's going to beg him to do it. And we're going to probably have some provisional entries. They didn't actually qualify, but we're going to have provisionals now. It's all just being made up as we go. And Walty's going to be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to love the next video on your screen. And there's an easy subscribe icon. For your convenience, as always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. I'll see you on the next video.